Okay, so here we are in the Swing Studio at Peter's Golf Club and what I'm going to talk about as I've been trying to do this video for the last couple of days is we're slow down so I thought I'll take the time out just to, just to keep busy because it's really quiet today nothing really happening so I'm going to talk about three tips how to hit the ball into the wind so you see all good players who are really a lot of really good wind players that play a lot of links golf and they can change the game um, for any different type of lunch course from St Andrews, um, Turnbury, all these different courses, Troon, and then to just the average or the parkland course. So I'm going to I'm going to talk you through a process that I, the technique that I adopt when I'm playing in the wind. So apologies for being out of breath. I've just walked 150 yards in the snow. It's not easy when you're only five foot six about drowned. So the first thing we'll talk about is what we need to do in order for us to keep the ball low, we need to short, short the lever system. By shortening our lever system, that's tip one, what I mean by that is we need to shorten our swing. So to do that, what we need to do is grip down the club, okay? So what happens when we choke down the club slightly, this shortens the length of our, the, or shortens the natural length of the club, okay? So if I was tip driver and grip all the way up the top, then I'd be using a full length driver. But if I was to get down it, Grip down and maybe to the bottom of the grip. But what happens is when you're playing golf in the wind, they want to grip down. And what this does is it slows our swing speed down, okay? And in order for us to control the ball flight, we need to sort out the speed of our swing. Because the direct the speed of our swing is a direct influence or a distance, okay? So we don't want power with this type of shot, we want control, okay? So control is not a big a, a big necessity within within hitting the ball into the wind, okay? So I see too many golfers that are trying to hit the ball hard, too too hard, and what happens is the ball's rising, and it keeps rising, and then it almost drops at their feet. So you need to obviously stick to that, okay? So we need to swing smoother. So take two clubs and more grip down in it and just swing like a, a normal shot, okay? So whatever I'm swinging about 70% of the 100. Second thing we'll talk about is move the ball back in your stance, but I, I like the formula I actually use this. So, if you grip down the club two inches, I want you to move the ball position back two inches. Okay? So we need to set up for the shot accordingly from when we grip down the club, okay? So, if I was to grip down the club two inches, but I was to keep the ball in the middle of my stance, what will happen there is, um, a lot of golfers who play into the wind and they don't move the ball position back, they'll just get down it. The club will bottom out before the golf ball, okay? And that's where you'll thresh air it, thin it, top it. So if we move the ball, if we get down the club, we need to move the ball position back in our stance, okay? So what that will do, if we move the ball position back in the stance, it obviously it will create a lower trajectory. But we, if we are swinging smooth, to start with by choking down, that reduces the loft, okay? So we're not necessarily going to hit the ball low if we move the ball position back, okay? We need to focus on the loft on the club, okay? So if we reduce the loft on the club by moving the ball position back, that's not necessarily going to work, okay? So we need to feel that we need to reduce the loft on the club by creating some forward shaft loop, okay? So we the hands more towards our left, our left leg or lead leg if you're right-handed, okay, and left-handed. So what this does is it allows the hands to lead them to impact, okay. So the moment that people move the ball position too far back and take quite a lot of loft on the club, what they'll do is they'll release it early, and what happens is the shaft gets too vertical, and then the loft points too much to the sky, and then the ball is back to where it started. So what we need to do is move the ball position back. By creating, if we move it back, that creates a little bit forward shaft. But get it down the club, okay? So this will steepen the angle attack. But obviously, we want to steepen the angle attack and reduce the loft, okay? So if we do that, the ball will go a lot lower. And the lower trajectory is what we want to play different types of golf courses, okay? Or down by the sea. So another thing, last tip I want to focus on is what we need to do is try and keep our weight more on top of the golf ball, okay? So by standing a little bit narrower, that that will that will create a, a bit more stable base, okay? So not not too narrow where we, we can't transfer our weight, but as long as it's narrow enough for stability and able to transfer our weight, okay? See too many guys standing with standing as if they're gonna do the do the do the splits, okay? So what that does is if they have too 
too much gap between legs, too too much gap, too too big a gap between the both feet, so they stand too wide. Effectively, what that does is it they struggle to transfer their weight off their back foot, and they get into this action where the the shaft stands up quite early. It's called early early release. I've said it properly this time. That's the first. And what happens is they release it early. They cast it. Club head gets the ball before hands. We want to do the opposite. Our hands should be leading the club head into impact. Okay. But the first thing I'd like to talk about is stand up now. I feel our weight's more on top of the golf ball. Okay. So if our weight's more on top of the golf ball, then we won't move off the golf ball. We won't on the back and or through so. And what forwards them. But what happens from here is the more weight that you transfer to one foot, then the chances are that you've got a that can be indicative when moving off the golf ball. Okay. So if we move off the golf ball, that's we need to do, do something to manipulate to catch up. So what we do is we throw the hands into it and what happens is the club extends too early and that's where the, the ball goes shoot on there and we are struggling into the wind. So you need to feel that your lower body is a little bit more stacked up against the golf ball, okay, or stacked on top of the golf ball. From here, I want everything to just feel like it's a shot, everything's short and sharp, okay? So, three tips I talked about there was choke down the club, reduces the natural length of the swing, or the swing, the, the, the existing club length, reduces the club, reduces club head speed, keeps the loft down, but gets an old pen trick ball flight. Another thing that I'd like to say is, Obviously, moving ball position back is important, but we need to work on loft, okay? We're not, we're not going to necessarily have ball lower by just moving ball position back. We need to reduce the loft as much as the angle of attack, okay? So, what I mean by angle of attack is the angle, is the, the angle of the club descending or ascending in relation to the slope of the dip. So, if I was to do that, so if I was to move the ball too far forward, the club would come in a lot shallow because clubs are already rising on the way through, but because we're moving the back, the angle of attack is steeper. So, it's important just to it's important just to work, understand that a bit better. And then the last thing I want to talk about is trying to keep your body weight more top, top of the golf ball. So the moment that we try and move too much weight um, and weight off the golf ball, that's when we start releasing the club early. We start adding excessive loft onto it that we don't need. So just try and keep your weight stacked more on top of the golf ball and then just work with the mechanics that you've got. Okay? So if you've got any thoughts on the video and you've got any questions that you'd like, to, you'd like me to answer, Comment below and then the topics that you're struggling with you'd like to, like you'd like me to get to within the next couple of days, then fire me questions and if you like the video, thumbs up and if you find my tips helpful, subscribe to my channel at gmail.com.